Hi there, welcome back. Today I spent some time working on the UI for the player. Um, let's just go ahead and start a new game. So this is basically where we're at so far. We have an introduction screen and there's a character that basically tells us what's up and she gives us an option. Again, this is all placeholder right now, so it's all probably going to change. I'm just blocking out all of the major pieces. I'm going to choose to go downtown. She gives you two options based on which one you choose. That's where you're going to end up spawning. And the story will be different based on which one you choose. So what I set up today was, um, was a mini map and a rear view mirror. And I adjusted the, the intro dialog box position. So I want it to be on the top of the screen. That way it doesn't block the car and it doesn't block any of the other UI. Um, she basically tells you where to go and there's a, a little blinking dot on the minimap. I don't think I'm going to put an arrow for the state of the game. Um, basically because I, I don't I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet but but I know that with this blinking dot it does get the player's attention. The player knows where they have to go and you could still see the dot as it's at the bounds of the screen. So it gives you an indicator of which direction you want to go. I think the next step for this would be, um, I just drove into something I shouldn't have been able to drive into. Um, so, so the next step would be to, to probably set up a pause menu so that you can get an overview of the city map it would basically zoom out once you pause. Um, and I set up a rear view mirror and I, I feel like that's working okay. My goal with the rear view mirror was to make it not seem very overpowering. You, you really only need it to be able to tell what's behind you. Um, so I don't want it to be distracting for the player. So I, I played with the, the visuals for that and, and making sure that the colors weren't too too bright because um, I don't want the player spending time looking at the, at the rear view mirror. I want the player driving and then if there's something they might need to see in the rear view mirror it might catch their attention. So the colors are basically brighter as you're closer to objects. It's easier to see if I have a building in the background. So as you get farther away, it becomes just darker. Um, there's a few different effects that I layered onto the camera for that. And yeah, that's basically what I spent a few hours working on today so far. Um, like I said, I think the next step is to, to create the pause screen so that when, when I pause, I get an overview of the city map. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, so yeah, sweet. Thanks for checking this out. If you have any feedback or if you have any questions, let me know. But for now, um, I'm just going to get back to work.